Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Leo. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. So please check out the other available videos in the channel so that you can have a clear, more concise picture as what potentially could be happening for your love life in this week. So it could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best resonates with your situation. But please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates or parts of the message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message, okay, guys? So everything you need to know about myself and the channel is down in the description box below, okay? So let's get into this, shall we? Angels of Love and Light, can we please have clear and concise messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? What do they need to know for love for this week? Please feel free to leave a timestamp as well if you wish, guys. Okay. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Knight of Wands in reverse, The Empress, The Wheel of Fortune, wow, The Lovers in reverse, The High Priestess in reverse, Bottom of the deck we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, okay. We have Pisces energy here with the Hangman, I was just seeing what other majors we have, and we have Aries with the fall we do have taurus and libra with the empress we have gemini we have cancer we have aquarius scorpio leo and taurus with the wheel of fortune we have strong earth on the table taurus virgo capricorn and fire aries leo sagittarius and a little bit of water as well and air as well here okay so let's get into this What I'm feeling predominantly is that there is someone around you as of right now who who's very attracted to you. I'm getting they find you very alluring, um, very tempting, and they're trying everything that they can to hold off on this temptation that they have for you. They have not let it be known to you the feelings that they have they have kept them relatively secret or they have not necessarily expressed the love that they have for you um, as of yet I feel like this person is bottling up their emotions because they could be closing out another cycle in their life which could be um, rather challenging as of right now they could be feeling like they're suffocating in their environment to do with maybe an old karmic cycle or a karmic ex or a karmic partner or something along these lines. Or maybe even a home situation I'm getting. And someone is really trying to get themselves self-sufficient. Um, I'm getting self-employed, so potentially someone may be trying to become self-employed or start their own business or... Um, get their finances in order, get their ducks in a row. Someone has not had their finances together for quite some time or they have been very financially sound in the past and then something has happened in their life whereby they may have lost a lot financially and they're now just trying to pick themselves back up again. I feel that predominantly this person, if they were to come into your life, um, they may not necessarily be ready for a relationship as of right now. And I feel like on some sort of level, you kind of know this, especially if they're closing out something um, really quite difficult from the past. And this is a past person wanting to return and come back into your life. I also feel like you may be focusing solidly on your career as of right now, getting yourself together and I feel like a lot of great fortune is on your way, like blessings on blessings I'm getting here, especially with this Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. Um, you may be starting off a business or you may be starting in a new career path or a new job or something along these lines and you're very, very happy um, about this. You're very happy about the changes that are coming in for you. I'm getting the sense of um, social media as well, like you may be an influencer or you're trying to get your business out there or there's just something massive that's happening in your material world and you're kind of glowing as of right now and people are seeing the victory and the success that you are having in your life and I'm getting that there are there are hater raters out there, there are people out there maybe hating on your success who may be potentially keeping a keen eye on you about what you are doing or what you're not doing and 
what have you but I mean you know um, <laughs> I'm getting that saying um, publicity is it, a good publicity is any type of publicity or what have you I, there's a particular saying where it doesn't matter if you get press is still press if it even if it's bad press like there's somebody trying to turn it turn it around in their favor and um, it means you're getting your word or getting yourself out there more so but I feel like you don't necessarily care about what people are having to say about you anyway so I feel like that's just a, a side note I feel like you're very very much in control very grounded of yourself working on you um, maybe even overly working you could be distracting yourself with um, your career as of right now not really focusing on love whatsoever you know holding yourself back from love but I feel like there is the potential for love, a new love to come into your life, but it may not be short, it may be short lived. It may be, um, you know, kind of gone here, gone tomorrow. Like there could be a lot of passion to do with a, a new person or a new situation, um, but then it may not necessarily be short lived. But there are people out there who are very passionate about you and they see you as, you know, um, husband and wife material you know, the mother or father of their, their child, um, you know, they want it all with you because you do bring a lot to the table and if anybody else was to approach you, they know that they have to level up to be able to equal your kind of energy as of right now. You know, even if you have had a few bumps in the road in relation to your career and your finances and you may not necessarily be exactly where you want to be as of right now in that kind of department, I feel like your energy kind of exudes this sense of um, abundance anyway. I'm getting fake it fake it to make it. So maybe you've been really kind of working on your confidence as it were, focusing on yourself and thereby um, bringing a lot more positivity in your life. And other people do see that. What I'm getting as well is there, there may be a little bit of a tendency for you to doubt yourself in relation to this past person if they were to come back into your life. Like... Do they just want a one night stand with me? Are they a karmic connection? Are they someone that I could actually build with and have an empire I'm getting? Um, are, are they genuinely a soulmate? Are they not a soulmate? Are they a karmic soulmate? Are they are someone who is potentially a divine counterpart here with their empress energy, you know, a twin flame? That's potentially what's coming through as well. So you may have been a bit backwards and forwards, potentially um, a bit unsure about this person from the past but I feel like you know you know deep down you know who this person in the past is to you and but there are going to be people out there who are going to be trying to sway you as it were to sway you to think and feel a, a particular way because they don't want you to have this connection with this person so I feel like you're having to stand your ground as of right now and really kind of work on your confidence and just so you're focusing on yourself and this in turn is getting people you know are coming towards you for lots of different types of um, either connections or relationships or you know um, opportunities to do with work or what have you and this in turn is like moths to a flame i feel like you're just shining brightly and this in turn people are very attracted to you okay even though people that aren't wanting the best for you are also going to be attracted to you i'm getting trolls so potentially someone's having to be careful with their um, social media platform as of right now a lot of people trying to be fake and copy whatever it is you're doing so just as a heads up there guys okay also what i'm picking up on is that this person from the past um misses you they miss you they've been bottling up their emotions they haven't come forward to express the feelings that they have for you they want to kind of just show up and show out as it were and take you out and have something with you but i feel like this overriding passion that this person has for you um may be a bit full-on to begin with i feel like you may be having to kind of set boundaries with your discernment and say look okay um, I understand there's the chemistry there, there's the attraction there, we, you know, we feel what we feel for each other, etc. But there's, um, there's a fine line. So I feel like you may be, you know, understanding who this person is to you on some sort of soul level, which is great. But you're also going, well, hang in there. Just, just let's kind of, 
you know, build on this slowly. Let's kind of work on it. Let's build on a friendship. Let's build a trust. Let's build on a loyalty to do with the connection. Let's really work on things. And I feel like this is really great. This is really great. Because this person does want to travel to see you. They do want to communicate with you. And they know that other people are going to be fighting for your attention or competing for your attention. So thereby, I'm getting this overall sense that this person does feel this very strong um, connection, most likely spiritual connection with you, with these double sixes, um, potentially with a past life connection. They see you in a whole new light, but um, they know that you've been let down in love um, and potentially let down by them as well. And that you've had to take the time to heal yourself because you didn't want to play mind games with anyone. And this person may have come across as cold and uncaring in the past. And you may have, um, I'm getting the word nonchalant, so you may have had to really um, assess your situation and your life and know that even though you may be tied in some sort of way to this person on a soul level, you've had to kind of keep your distance from them because you weren't going to tolerate the behaviours or potential toxicities of the past if this person wasn't necessarily treating you properly. Um, here we have with the Page of Swords in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. You could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. You know that there is the passion and the interest between the two of you, but this person um, tried to play it cool, as it were. Um, they had the interest and the passion and the zest for you. They wanted something more with you, um, but they didn't show the interest in the, in, in the, the beginning. They, they may not necessarily have seen that. But with you retreating yourself and taking you, you out of the equation, especially if they were dealing with anyone else, this got them to see your worth here with the Queen of Pentacles and that you were worthy of an equal, equal give and take relationship or partnership. And that if this person was breadcrumbing you, you made it very clear to this person, um, I will not be putting in any further effort until you show me halfway. Until you meet me halfway, I am not going to work on this situation with you. And so you may have an unfinished cycle with this person here with the world, or potentially you may have even blocked them on social media because they didn't put in the effort. And now they're, I'm getting the word pining or potentially longing to come forward towards you to make plans to close the gap between the two of you. But even if they do that, they may still have options with other people or they recognise that you now have options and that, you know, you potentially dropping this person will lighten the load in your life. And now they want to rush in and say, look, yes, I was unreliable in the past and yes, I didn't treat you properly and things weren't right, but you are a wish fulfilment to me and I want a brand new beginning with you. And they're going to come clean and express their feelings and obviously, you know, if they have hurt you in the past, then they know that um, they're going to acknowledge that they've hurt you. King and Queen of Wands. See, with the Queen of Wands upright, they know that this is you with the Queen of Pentacles upright, but they didn't show up as properly and you walked away from them here. But they're scared that you're going to walk away from them, even if they were to come back around, express their feelings here and make peace with you in your life. Um, because you may be unsure about whether you can trust this person because you've set firm boundaries. Look at that again with the Queen of Swords and they want to reconcile here with the temperance and heal your connection. But this person um, was potentially very immature in the past and you just said, look, well, if you know you want a, you want a grown connection with me, you're going to have to do a bit more growing up um, in a kind of way, basically. Um, and so therefore now this person has kind of seen you with what you're doing and they haven't made it obviously clear to you, especially if you haven't spoken in a while, that they are changing. They haven't communicated this with you probably because um, I'm not seeing very many um, swords here on the table, guys. Like there's no air energy. So there's there's not really been any communication and what I'm feeling is that you actually haven't been paying this person too much mind like you've been very much focused on you which is actually working in your favor like a huge amount here guys okay it really is working in your favor so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clarify now 
obviously I feel like I can get some more messages, but I'm going to wait to clarify a little bit more here, guys. So this will probably be a little bit of a longer reading, but um, I hope you guys don't mind that too much. So I'm now going to clarify the majors on the table with the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot. Potentially your person has um, someone in their life that they could be dealing with, that they may have children with, who um, could be a karmic ex or a karmic partner, um, who potentially is clinging on to them as of right now, um, kind of trying to get their attention, but their attention's, your love interest, in t your love interest, their attention is on you, not on this other person. And I feel like this karmic partner or karmic ex or whoever kind of knows this. And it's really peeing them off. <laughs> it's getting to them. Um, it's getting to them. Okay. But they feel like you're kind of, you've got this new perspective. And you're coming across as quite aloof and detached from this person. And you separated yourself from them because of whatever happened. But I feel like this person's keeping an eye on you. For sure. But your emotional needs were not met by this person or by this situation. So you just decided, well, if that's how you want it, then I guess I'll just kind of move myself out. And um, that's what you did. You just thought, well, I'm not going to be competing for no one's attention. You can count me out. <laughs> and I feel like that's exactly what you did. Why is the Empress here, please, for Leo? The Empress here for Leo. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh, guys. Wow. The Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Oh, my gosh. This person sees everything with you. They want a brand new start. There is so much love for you. It's ridiculous. Oh, with the Four of Wands. Oh, my gosh. You could be dealing with your divine counterpart here with the 11-11 card. You could be a divine feminine and they are divine masculine and they want to have a reunion with a brand new stable offer. I'm getting something tangible here, guys. This person wants to come back around um, and they want to settle down. They want to have a family. They recognize that being with you, they would be on the right track. Um, that you could potentially give them everything that they could ever want or ever need in their whole entire life. Like this, is, I'm getting once in a lifetime love. This person sees you having their children or blending families together or getting married, um, buying a property together or moving in together or um, getting engaged potentially here with the four of wands energy, like celebrating your, your love and your connection with one another they definitely want something more but you are very much like focusing on your own new endeavors as well you're enjoying your single kind of life as it were you have really worked on your own fulfillment of making yourself happy and this in turn you're you've managed to complete a massive cycle in your life that has been very difficult and you are just celebrating this wonderful wonderful success that you're having like 10 10 here look at this like massive power numbers you didn't rely on this person to give you stability or closure in your life and you gave it to yourself and this is absolutely incredible and this person i'm getting the sense they can't praise you enough they can't praise you enough and they literally want to be here as in right now um, and be with you they want something more with you they love you that's it this person is absolutely besotted with you, but they know that you are worthy of all of this because you absolutely are. They know that you are deserving of more and that's why they want to change things with you. They want to make it work. Oh my gosh, guys. With the High Priestess, you know that you and this person have a very strong spiritual connection. They weren't seeing it before. But you had to have trust and faith in knowing who this person was to you. And just keep working on your spirituality. I feel like you're most likely very intuitive, potentially psychic, um, a healer. I'm getting a maybe a fellow tar a tarot reader or something along these lines. You are, uh, I'm getting so alluring and mystical and they just feel this strong, magnetic, connection with you i'm getting very much past life here guys 
Oh, wow. This person wants to introduce you to their, you know, to their family. They want it. They want it all. That's it. They want it all. Oh, my gosh. As I say that, Leo with the High Priestess with the Strength card. This is definitely you. You are absolutely incredible. You've gone through so much in your life and you've battled so hard to get to where you have and you face difficulties head on. And I feel like this person is literally wanting to rush in, to open up their heart, to come forward towards you. Um, but you may also have new love coming in because obviously you're glowing. You're glowing. Everybody wants a piece of you, I'm getting. <laughs> the Empress. What else here for the Empress? Yeah, you don't become Empress Energy without going through a difficult time on, or two with the Five of Cups. This person is regretting, remorseful that they didn't offer you this in the past. Here we go with the Leo Energy of the Strength card. They are absolutely gutted that they didn't sort their ish out before. They have not been able to move on from you because they know that this is what they want. This is what they want. Yeah, lovers in reverse. They know that they hurt you here. They know that they, um, they don't wanna be separated from you, but they know that they hurt you. I'll take one more for that Empress and that's, I'll move on. If you've got one more for the Empress, then otherwise I'll move on. Oh, look at that, the Hierophant with the Ten of Swords in reverse. We saw you as the High Priestess and now this person most likely is coming out as the Hierophant or potentially you're coming out as both. But what I'm feeling is you know that there's a very strong spiritual bond between the two of you. Uh, but this person is recognising that you and them have something so much more. And they've been on the fence. And if they are to have anything with you, they need to get off of that fence. But this person most likely has been in another connection elsewhere um, that they may have felt trapped in with a traditional relationship or connection of sorts. And they're needing to um, close it out. And I feel like that's what they're doing because they have a load of drama in their life here with the Five of Swords. This person knows that you've gone through so much hardship to get to where you are, that you've had to leave a lot of toxicity in the past. You've gone through major changes in your life. And that most of whatever has been coming forward to you in the way of like success, you really truly have earned it. You really have battled to get to where you are. This person wants commitment with you. They want marriage. They want the new family home. They want the new start. They want what have you. They may even be going through a divorce um, or cutting of a legal tie elsewhere in order for you and them to have something at a later date. Even if you guys are just friends as of right now, you are not even, you know, friends, but they want to be friends and kind of work their way up to eventually having marriage with you because I feel like this person wants the same as you, but they didn't communicate that before. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Leo? Goodness me. You could just easily be dealing with a Taurus as well. We've got double Taurus energy here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, please? These cards are feeling a little bit stubborn. Okay, yeah. Luck is on your side. With the Aquarius energy of the star being in reverse, you know, you've had lost faith in this situation. But I'm also feeling that this person may feel you've lost faith in them to turn it around, to come back and give you equal give and take here with the Six of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, you've lost faith for a long time that you and them weren't going to come forward together, but they don't want to be separate from you. This person is missing you and they've lost a lot of confidence from dealing with another situation, but they are on their way. Look at that. Emperor, Empress. They are doing everything they can to match you. So you and them in divine timing could eventually have a reunion and healing of this very strong soulmate bond that there is between the two of you because that's what they want. They, they love you. 
but they miss your friendship. They miss your connection. They don't want to be in separation from you. They want to turn things around. They, yeah, they, they're having to separate themselves through someone else from another situation. They've had most likely spiritual awakening and the recognition that your connection wasn't balanced and that they've most likely had to go through a divorce or a breakup or a separation with someone else where there was trickery involved. This is their, this was their karma here. And that they had to learn how to set boundaries, gain their independence here and move on if they're going to be victorious in their life with the Six of Wands. Because they've had blocks on communicating their truth to you and letting go of the burdens of the past to then open up this love here with the Knight of Cups and show you what you are deserving of here with the Strength card. This person didn't show you that they wanted to put an effort towards the connection. All of these coming out in reverse is actually relatively promising because I feel like this is what's ending because the Wheel of Fortune is showing up upright. So whatever difficulties that there have been in the past, it's it's coming to an end. It's coming to a coming to an end. This person is actually now going to put in the in the effort. I'll take one more card, please. The cards just want to fly out my hand, guys. The Wheel of Fortune. This person knows that they didn't put in the effort before to do with your connection. But they also know that you may have thought that it was too much of a burden to bear to carry on doing everything yourself. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Leo? Anything else here? Otherwise, I'll move on. Okay. The lovers in reverse. Look at that. So your separation is coming to an end because they're manifesting a new beginning after a period of time where things weren't moving anywhere. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. That of they being the block is all coming to an end. This person is manifesting for you and them to make changes, but there could be a few delays as of right now. But this person has chosen to come forward towards you here with the two of ones. Yeah, in reverse. But they've most likely been left out in the cold to do with another situation or another person. Why are the lovers here? In reverse, please. This person's feeling heartbroken as of right now that you and your connection is, is not moving forward and there's been the stagnancy that there has been. But there are other people that may be um, very jealous of your connection right now and your person is trying to look out, look for a way out in another situation in order to come forward towards you for sure. Why is the lovers here in reverse? Yeah, look at that. They've got a lawyer involved to get them out of something. They were very nervous about closing a situation off here. Um, but they're trying to gather their strength back so they can come forward towards you. Yeah, look at that. So that they can leave an old situation of the past and then come forward towards you. This person knows also that you are only going to be asking them of their truth as to why they left or walked away from the connection in the past or potentially ghosted you. Um, and you may have your defences up with this person, but they're hoping that you're going to drop your guard down if they do come back around. I feel like this person really wants to apologise for for their ways in the past. Anything else for Gemini, for the lovers? Yeah, this person is very attracted to you. I feel like they've become more attracted to you in the separation from you. And they realising this, this truth and they're trying to figure out how to even approach you now because you're incredibly intuitive. So they can reconcile with you here with temperance, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, because they see your worth with the Queen of Pentacles upright. They see you as um, long term, their long term partner or spouse. Why is the High Priestess here? She's in reverse. But they know that you're not going to suffer fools gladly and you'll, you'll very much tell them straight exactly how you feel. Like you've gained this confidence in yourself and you know your self-worth here with the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the um, High Priestess here in reverse, please? Thank you. Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. You may have doubted yourself in the past, but with being in separation from this person, you've only gathered in more confidence in yourself. Um, it's kind of worked out in your favour and there we go, there's the victory that you're having in your life. You may have made the decision to stay single, you may have people coming in who are very interested but you just may be like, look, I'm not, 
not too fussed about getting into a particular relationship as of right now. I'm just working on myself. Yep, this person wants to come forward and offer you love here. They want to apologise and bring in peace to your, your connection with the Five of Swords being in reverse. They're hoping you and them can like compromise on the situation. But they're going to have to do some grovelling, I'm getting. What else here for the High Priestess? The secret's going to be out of the bag that potentially if they were a bit flighty or a bit of a player or had a reputation to kind of, you know, have kind of very superficial connections with other people... Um, I feel like they want to uh, apologise for that and that, you know, that actually didn't really fulfil them. But if they also was, was dealing with someone else in a long-term situation, they want to let you know that, um, that that wasn't working out either and potentially their comic partner or ex was unfaithful and that they've closed that cycle out here with the world. That it, it's done, it's done and dusted, it's finished and they're getting themselves single with the Nine of Pentacles. I'll take one more for the High Priestess in reverse, if you've got it, please. Oh, what was that? Sorry, that was my fault. I wasn't sure which way they came up, so I'm just going to try again. High Priestess in reverse. King of Wands, wow. This person knows that you're a pair. Divine counterparts, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Knight of Wands, see, this is what they were in the past, Knight of Wands in reverse, and now they want to be the Knight of Wands upright, they want to take action, they want to be confident, they're trying to get themselves independent to um, assert themselves, so that they can come forward and take you out, yeah, because they're highly attracted to you here with the Nine of Pentacles, they're trying to get themselves free and single to date you, the Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, yeah, it's going to be um, revealed to you here with the moon. Um, they kept their feelings very much secret, but it's going to be revealed. This person is most likely going to say to you that they know that they didn't act with integrity in the past and that they're going to apologise for that. Yeah, they, the reason they were not acting that way is because they had insecurities um, and they may have pushed you away here. They pushed you away even though that they loved you here with the Queen of Cups, because potentially they didn't feel enough for you. And they're not probably the best of people with expressing their emotions here. I'm gonna find out one more. Yeah, but that's coming to an end with the world. I wanna find out one more about that emperor, why he came out with us. And then we'll move on to the Romance Angels. I did say it was gonna be a slightly longer reading, so sorry about that, guys, but... Um, feel like you guys want the tea so <laughs> why is the emperor here in reverse what do you mean why are you here like that they may say that they've had some sort of paternity issues with someone else in another situation maybe they've gone through a divorce i feel like that was my fault there's too many cards there why is the emperor here in reverse is there anything extra you can tell us about that yeah, they've got a lot of drama in their life with one-sided relationship here with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. They've got financial issues. They've not been able to move on away from that, but they want to come back around to you. Emperor in reverse. Yeah, they want to close the gap between the two of you with the Three of Wands in reverse. They may even say that they didn't want what you wanted back before, but now they've actually, they, they want the same thing. They're going to communicate to say that they actually want this passionate new beginning with you here, with the Ace of Wands. Anything else with that Emperor in reverse? Or is you just not telling us anything else now? Anything else? Yeah, they're having to move on from another situation with the Six of Cups in order to pursue something with you here. They've um, had their eyes open with the Hangman. I'll take one more for that Emperor. One more for that Emperor. Yeah, they've had to close out a very painful cycle here with a long-term situation, maybe selling of a property. And they're waiting for their victory in that. 
-hmm. but they know that they didn't follow their intuition look at that the high priestess in uh, reverse and they know that they took advantage of you most likely here as well but they're having to let you know that also they found out some sort of news and they've realized that by being in this other situation with this other person they've made a massive mistake and now they're trying to move on to karma waters here with the six of swords um but and come back to you because they've gained some sort of clarity um that they had a lack in judgment with another situation that wasn't working out and giving them the fulfillment but also they um they want to come back around to you but they've had difficulty with leaving um, another situation as well as even though that something has become obviously clear to them they're still having the remnants of feeling you know heartbroken from that because obviously if they've invested with this other person or situation for some time it can be quite challenging so let's um, carry on here with the romance angels let's get some additional messages so i'm sorry for the slightly longer reading but i want to be fair with you guys okay if you're enjoying the reading please like share and subscribe leave us a comment i greatly appreciate it and I will get back to you on those uh, comments. Uh, hitting that like button makes a massive difference with the channel. And I really do appreciate it as it gets the messages out there to people who may need to see them at this time. Also, um, if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you all. So let's get into this. Leo, Romance Angels, please. Ooh, what was that? Maybe with this one second. Okay, I'm going to try that, try that again, because, um, try that again, sorry about that. What was, what was that? Was that a Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Yeah, they could be dealing with someone else as of right now with a separation card that someone is trying to see if they can give it another go, clinging on to them um desperate for their attention going look can we give it another go and your person's like no I'm not interested you know they're wanting to separate from that person and they want you and them to have a go but you've been in separation from this person for quite some time hoping that they would come back around at some point but you haven't kind of been you know sitting by the window watching them waiting for them to turn up you know on a white horse like you've just literally been working on yourself what else here for leo was that a card that flipped over? No. Leo? Past life relationship. You've known each other before. Yeah, well, we've said that very strongly here. They have very um, strong romantic feelings for you. Their feelings are real and they want to come forward and take you out for a date. For definite. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This person may be releasing their ex as of right now. Let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So yeah, you've had to be very patient with this connection, with this situation. Um, in divine timing, I'm getting. But also this person here with the emperor being in reverse, they could have been used to trying to overly control certain situations. Um, they could have been a little bit possessive or... Um, so used to doing everything they're wanting it their own way and when it came to you like they couldn't control you or the connection or they tried to and it didn't work out and i feel like this person's recognizing that they did that because they probably don't even like being controlled anyway and they were probably with a very, very overbearing needy jealous insecure person in their previous relationship and or their current relationship and they're having to release this ex and they don't even like being, you know, controlled anyway, but yet they're, but therefore they're being a hypocrite. So it's, it's interesting how kind of like tables have turned sort of thing. But, um, this person does want to some, make it work with you, but they're very much used to being the boss. Um, and then obviously when you came into the picture, you know, it's like, I'm getting that there's a new sheriff in town for some reason. So... Um, you may have <laughs> completely opened this person's eyes to say, hang on a second, um, no, I'm the boss. <laughs> so we're going to look at the soulmates in separation, unspoken love messages, and see what your person would like to say to you or what you would like to say to them during this time as 
you're in separation most likely from one another i'll pull, do one more shuffle thank you for bearing with us what does uh what's going on with say to leo oh okay I'm working on myself each day so that I can come back to you as my complete whole self. Yes, well, they are certainly working on themselves here, guys. I want to fight for this connection, but I just don't know how. I seek strength and courage. Yeah, so they are trying to figure out how to approach you now, especially if they feel like you're unapproachable because you're just on another level. One more or two more. I am still healing. Yes, this person is still healing. I'll take one more. I felt one more. I felt one more. Deliver me from temptation. So they could have dealt with addictions or codependencies um, in the past or lust-based connections and that wasn't something that you were offering this person. You may have just taken yourself out of it and so therefore you've had to... Um, really work on you and focus on you and thereby this person's now having to address certain issues with themselves you deserve much more than what i could give at the time last card one day i believe we will be together again yeah i wish i could have been emotionally available and let you in so they had the feelings and the love for you and they know their feelings are real but they didn't express them they were very interested in in you before okay but um, yeah, so that is going to be the end of the reading. Um, I hope that you found a message in there that resonated with you or a few messages or even if the whole reading resonate, then that's awesome. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy, please like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you all have a very good week and please take care of yourselves and speak to you again very soon. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.